Hey guys, time for another collection video. This time I'm going to be showing you my Shoujo Beat Magazine collection. Now Shoujo Beat had a manga anthology that ran from the summer 2005 all the way to the summer of 2009. And it's from Viz Media. And it's also a sister, so to speak, publication to the popular Shonen Jump. And it even had a uh, manga imprint as well, which is still going on to this day. Well, let's get started with the preview issue here. This is a preview issue. Up there it says exclusive Shoujo Beat preview. It has on the cover its absolute boyfriend, the new title by superstar creator Yu Watasi, who also did uh, Fushigi Yugi and Saris, and a bunch of others. Outside of Absolute Boyfriend, it has some launch titles in the magazine, including Nana, Godchild, Crimson Hero, Baby and Me, and Kaize Hikaru. Get a sneak peek at the hottest new manga magazine. It also says Shoujo 101. What's it say right there? Let me adjust the focus there. Everything you need to know. And that preview issue actually came with the final issue of In America, if I can remember correctly. Yeah, Shoujo Beat replaced In America uh, the mag in magazine form before it switched over to a little digest size magazine. Alright, now it's time to show you the actual issues, starting with this very first one from July of 2005. And on the cover features Nana. And here is the August 2005 issue on the cover, features Nana again. Well, and this time it shows the black-haired Nana. Yeah, both of those characters are named Nana. Sorry if the camera's a little shaky, I'm just getting these out of this box. Okay, here's the September 2005 issue on the cover, features Godchild. Here's the October 2005 issue. Nana's on the cover once again, except it's showing two Nanas now. Here's the November 2005 issue with Kaize Hikaru. Here's the December 2005 issue with, and on the cover is Absolute Boyfriend. Here's the January 2006 cover with Crimson Hero. February 2006 with Nana again. Here is March 2006 with the. Uh, I didn't say what it is. Okay. Here is April 2006 with Absolute Boyfriend. I believe that last issue was from Godchild, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, here is May 2006 with K 
Kaize Hikaru. Here is June 2006 with uh, with Godchild. I think it's Godchild. For some reason, they're not telling us the names on here. July 2006. This is actually the first anniversary issue. Once again, features Absolute Boyfriend. And believe it or not, it's actually the first issue that has, instead of black and white pages, it has uh, blue and pink pages. See on a Magneta. Kind of like the what some Japanese manga anthologies does. I think it's pretty neat. Here is August 2006 with Vampire Night. September 2006 with Nana. October 2006 with Vampire Night. Here is November 2006. Here's December 2006 with Nana. Here's January 2007. Here's February 2007. March 2007 with Vampire Night. April 2007. May 2007 with Nana on the cover. June 2007 with Crimson Hero. Uh, July 2007 with Nana on the cover. Try to make sure this box doesn't fall. Okay, August 2007. September 2007 with Absolute Boyfriend. October 2007 with Vampire Night. November 2007 with San Chronicles, I believe. Okay.
I think by this time, Nana is no longer serialized in this magazine. Probably because of the more mature themes later on. Anyways, this is December 2007. January 2008 with Haruka. Uh, February 2008 with Puffy Ami Yumi, which was a popular J pop duo. March 2008 April 2008 with San Chronicles This is May 2008 with Hana Kimi, I believe. That actually says it on the title or front. Uh, June 2008. I think it's Gaba Kawa on the cover. July 2008 with Sugar Princess from the creator of Hamakimi Oh, I thought that box was going to fall. I apologize. This is August 2008 with Vampire Night. Let me see if I can. Here we go. Now I can do it a little easier that way. September 2008. October 2008 with Vampire Night. You know, Vampire Night is featured in every October issue. Seems appropriate because it has a Halloween theme to it. November 2008 with Saint Heart Dragon Girl. I think that's the title. So I think it's a preview of the new graphic novel. December 2008 with another Vampire Night cover. January 2009, we're down to the last several issues. February 2009, with Crimson Hero. I believe out of all the launch titles, Crimson Hero is the only one that managed to have a run through this entire magazine's run. March 2009 with San Chronicles. April 2009, another Vampire Night cover. Now we're down to the last three here. May 2009 with Nana on the cover with an image from the anime. And 
next to last issue, June 2009, with uh, Kimi Ni Toko K on the cover. It's actually another preview issue of it. And here it is, the very last issue, July 2009, featuring Vampire Night as the final cover. That's it. Although Shoujo Beat does live on in graphic novel form as well as the occasional anime DVD. And uh, I'm going to show you guys this letter that was sent to me while, while to subscribers. I was subscribed to the last batch of issues here. Okay, this is what the uh, important letter would look like. I can get to focus here. Here it is. It says, Dear Social Beat subscriber, we're sorry to inform you that Viz Media has discontinued publication of Social Beat magazine. While we regret the news, we are happy to complete your subscription with Shonen Jump. Shonen Jump is the U.S. counterpart to weekly Shonen Jump, the most popular manga magazine in Japan. With seven serialized titles, including Naruto and Bleach, you will continue to get all the drama you love, only with action and adventure to boot. Show and Jump also packs in news on manga, anime, video games, and cool toys and merchandise. And with his monthly Hinon, Hinon Go lesson, you can keep learning Japanese words especially chosen for the manga fan. Don't worry, Shoujo manga isn't going away. You can continue to get the drama of Shoujo Beat's seri six serialized manga titles by purchasing the graphic novels. The volumes listed below pick up right off where the last issue of Shoujo Beat left off. Crimson Hero Volume 2, which came out in J January 2010. Haruka, which came out August of 2009, which is just after the magazine ended. Honey and Clover, December 2009, Volume 8. Forgot to mention Haruka, Volume 5. Honey Hunt, Volume 3, comes out in November 2009. Volume 7, San Chronicles, January of 2010, and Vampire Night, Volume 8, February 2010. Please enjoy this first issue of Shonen Jump. In case you already subscribed to Shonen Jump, your remaining shows will be issues will be added to the subscription. We know you'll love Shonen Jump, but if you prefer a refund for the remainder of your shows will be met subscription, please contact us in one of the following ways. The Shoujo Beat Magazine staff thanks you for your support over the years, and the Show and Jump team welcomes you aboard. Visit ShoujoBeat.com to sign up for the Shoujo Beat e-newsletter, where you can continue to get updates about exciting news and events. Thanks for reading Shoujo Beat, and we look forward to having you on board with Show and Jump. Sincerely, Shoujo Beat Magazine staff. Yeah. If you subscribe to Shoujo Beat and up until the end of the magazine you will get that letter and you either get one of the following ways automatically switch over to show and jump for whatever issues you have left or if you're already subscribed to show and jump like I had around the t at that point you'll get a few extra issues of show and jump for free as your subscription yeah that's what that letter was saying anyways Thank you for watching my show, Shoujo Beat Magazine collection. I'll see you guys next time in a future video. So until then, take care, and I'll see you guys later.